day eight of the Stark Heroes features Great John Umber. Still waiting on that small John to show up. Mornfang Brown starts us off with the base. We also see a little bit here on his belt. And on the back, the upper layer of fur. Next, Rhinox Hide. The straps on the sheath of the scabbard of his sword. The cape that he has. You can see just a little bit with the hilt as well as the uh, gloves that he has. Uh, Rhinox hide is also used for his uh, boots. Let's see, is there anything? Oh, of course, his hair. His hair, how could I forget his hair? And uh, one of the straps there, but yeah, his hair. Next, uh, lead belt trim to the gun. Uh, we've got all this metal that he has, and it's all Waz Daka, except for that hilt of his blade. So the sword, the armor, um, all that's on his chest, all of that on his torso. It's all lead belcher, it's all that iron, as well as the uh, chain mail. Waz Daka red, it's a lighter red, and we've got it here on the trim, as well as that cloth there and his sleeves. Baylor brown, which is just here on his scabbard. Runefang steel is just the hilt and the uh, pommel of the sword. And just a minor difference with the light. Cadian flesh tone goes to his skin. And Ushabti bone goes to this little horn that he has. That's it for the umbers. Uh, there will be more umbers in the future, but for now, we have the Great John.